Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. Number 22, the National League's batting leader continues his campaign for a batting crown. Next. Kyle Hendricks will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, that Theo cool. Jamison. The he had a four. homer in the ball game Theo. yesterday afternoon. Jamison. First pitch on its way. And he's way off balance with the swing there. So guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Oh, and two pitches, a curveball that misses one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. The 1 2. Fouled off. Navarez, a runner at first with two gone. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Stepping in, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now the 0-1 started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Hard hit ball to second. Running out, Scooped running up. out, running out. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Pirates two and the Cubs nothing. Digging in once again, Theo Jamison. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schwarber sprinting after it. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Theo Jamison. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Oh, one here's the pitch that misses oh, wide God. one ball and one strike who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two the one two gets him swinging he struck him out in now Theo Jamison looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Here's the first pitch. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. 
Hey, newsflash, guess where the next pitch is going after that ugly swing? I guarantee you he tries to get him to reach again. Now a pickoff play at second, and he's back in standing. He sent the 0-1. And it's one and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Two and one, here it is. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. You see that so much, left on left matchup, that slider down in a way that you get a bad swing on it. There's so many few left-handed hitters that are willing to drive the ball up the middle the other way. And he strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Everyone was treated to a really well played ball game in this one and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance so he's our tops player of the game in this one. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard fought win. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Chicago Cubs cross the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Brad Week earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on... We are set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs baseball on the show next. Jose Quintana, the Colombian native, gets the call to start this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. Lefty Jose Catano taking the bump right now. Really like this guy. Not overpowering, but great command of the fastball. And he does something a lot of lefties don't do. Settling in now, Theo Jamison. And the Pirates trying the to make this fielder. first inning even more Theo. productive here. Jamison. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Rip down the first base line. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this is going to be an interesting watch for me. I can only think back to when you're facing an ace. The team's playing well, you're confident. You go to the ballpark and you want to set the tone. Everybody's in the hitters' meetings trying to formulate a game plan to combat what this guy's been able to do throughout the course of the season so far. This should be an interesting game of cat and mouse today. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, I think everyone should keep an eye on Gregory Polanco. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Into the box now, number two. He'll lead things off lead here off. in the bottom well, half of the top. first. The second baseman, number two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Verdugo arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. And a chance now from the north side of Chicago to check out the Cubs starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight Dero. 
Yeah, Maddie, a lot of professional at bats up and down this lineup. I know they're behind right now, but it only takes one guy to set the tone and get the boys going. Digging in for his second at bat, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Up next for the Buckos, Theo Jamison. Theo Jamison. First pitch on its way. Fastball that gets the inside corner strike one. From a hitter's perspective, you knock the donut off your bat knowing two things. This pitcher is out on the mound looking for a strikeout or a double play. So you better set your sights at least belt high. The 0-2 home. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Working for the punch out and the offering. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Abisayil. Garcia. High in the air out to center field. Jamison moves over. Two, two, He's two, got two. it, and there are two down now. Hold it, hold it. So coming to the plate, Theo Jamison. Over for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. 0-2 oh, on its way. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Down in order go the Pirates. Score remains tied 1-1. One one. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching fielding and hitting who knows how long this will last and tonight's comes to a conclusion six to one the final the Chicago Cubs came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory number 56 gets the win in relief his second of the year so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our entire crew I'm Matt Vasquez and you've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com Doesn't get much better than this. Afternoon baseball from Wrigley Field in Chicago. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends of the standings between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs. You Darvish gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases. Keep... Now at the plate, Theo Jamison cool. looking for better results better than field. last night when he Theo. went 0 for 4 in that one. Jamison. First pitch coming, here it is. Now here's his swing, and this is hit well down the line in right. This ball has a chance, and it is gone. A home run.
A solo shot down the line in right. Home run number five on the year. And that'll give the Pirates a two to nothing lead. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. The next hub up, Jason Hayward. He'll get to take the his first Hayward. cuts here. Jason Hayward. The 0 2 delivery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jamison two, has a two, play, two. makes the play one away. No runner, no runner. Hold it right there, hold it. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling, D Row? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look at this lineup. The one thing that jumps out is the fact that they are last in stolen bases. They are station to station trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark, trying to get in good counts and drive the baseball. So stepping in, Theo Jamison. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Sends that one out of play for strike one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. So a runner at first with one out now. And that will bring up the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Jamison racing back, still ranging back into the bleachers and gone. A two run home run that time for Jason Hayward. 24 home runs for him on the season, and the Cubs have made this a three to two ball game. Stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. Archer comes set. Here it is on 0 2. Lifted in the air to center field. Moving under it, Jamison. And that's the third out. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. Three innings complete. Pirates lead it 3 to 2. At the plate, Theo Albert. Jamison. He comes in one for two with that Theo. home run he hit earlier. Jamison. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Frazier, the runner at second with one away. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Way outside. One and two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. 
Ready once again, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's a well-executed fastball right there at the bottom of the zone. If he stays there all day, it's going to make for a long day for the offense. Unless they're willing to bend their legs and get down and create some different launch angle, he's on point right now. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Digging in now, Theo Jamison, oh, and he always poses a threat, of course. Field. One of the true Theo. superstars in the game today. Jameson. Here's the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. Behind 0 and 2 now. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Forced. And that's save number 33 on the season for him, matching my career best for a season. The difference is he still has a chance to notch number 34. Another nice outing from him. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, seven to six today. The Buckos came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Greg Holland gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Kyle Crick closes the door for the save, his 33rd of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. Today, a matchup of division rivals at opposite ends of the standings between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs baseball. Julio Tehran is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the keys to this guy is throwing strikes. He's not a big strikeout pitcher, only averages less than seven strikeouts per nine innings pitched. So he's more of a pitch to contact guy, and you'll know. Digging in, Theo Jamison, and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Dan Dero, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty B, what we're seeing there is a team D row. They're starting to put the gas pedal down right now. They're starting to get some length in this division. Yeah, this team's playing well. They're playing with confidence. You can tell guys are walking to the plate with a swagger. Their pitchers are taking them out and executing pitches down and away. This is a good ball club. Okay, here's how the Cubbies are lining up defensively. Let's take a look at catcher Wilson Contreras. This guy has got one of the best arms in the game. Think Gary Sanchez, but in the National League. Nobody wants to attempt stealing bags on this guy and brings a powerful bat to the lineup. Standing in, Theo Jamison. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes.
the 0 2 home. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. It's been an 0-2 effort for him to this Bray. point. One oh, run, yeah. five hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Lifted in the air to center. Jamison is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And a good decision there to sweep this away in foul territory and make him try it again. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on 0 and 2. I mean, he's got to hunt better pitches in the zone to get a sack bunt down. Going to be interesting to see if the manager keeps it on right here or lets him swing away. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strike. Here's Javier Baez in head to head action against Tyler Lyons. He's a 3.33 hitter. Javier. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. Calling for it, Jamison. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Theo Jamison. Theo Jamison. From the stretch. And this is taken outside for ball one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Good movement there, and he's not even close. One and one. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. Well, that Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball. Two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters. High shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. 3 0, the final score in this one today. The Cubbies led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Julio Tehran earned his ninth win of the year. Craig Kimbrell hammers down the save, his 41st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. And welcome to the home of the Buccos since 2001, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tonight, it's a matchup from the NL Central between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Number 76, the Panamanian right-hander will get the nod here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down. Ready now for Cincinnati. That Joey Votto as he'll get first his first opportunity in this one. Joey Votto. Oh one. Here's the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Two, two, two. Jamison comes on now and he has it one down. And a moment now to glance at the Reds lineup card in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? You always have to look out for a guy like Joey Votto. Looking at the stat sheet, I was just blown away. He has 10 RBIs in his last 10 games. He's the guy you can't let beat you if you're on the other team. And we'll see if he can keep it up in this one. 
leading off the inning, Theo Jamison, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he lays off there, 1-0. And, guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. they got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of this season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 to get this going in the right direction. Fastball well outside. Still even at two and two. The two two one more time. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. As the Bucks have struck for a run, it's now a 2-1 to one score. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Now batting, Theo Jamison. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung right over the splitter there, 0-1. The He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Behind 0-2 now. Popped him up. Barnhart over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into the batter's box the next, a guy who's developed Eugenio. into one of the big-time power hitters in the league, Eugenio Suarez. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Polanco giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes, Dan. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in. Stepping up now, Theo Jamison. Now, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second Theo. with a base hit into the outfield. Jamison. Skied in the air to round straight away hard, hard. Winker has a play. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Pirates strand a couple. They're down 2-1. Striding into the box, Theo Jamison. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. This is in the air out to left field. Winker is there. One down. This 
man was a big factor in the outcome, so we're inclined to pencil him in as the top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Pittsburgh Pirates came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Number 72 gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter. Now from the north shore of the Allegheny Ladies River, we're inside beautiful Your PNC Park Pittsburgh. in Pittsburgh. Pirates. This evening, we've got a matchup out of the NL Central Division between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Number 74 will be on the mound for the Buckos. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, listen, when you can go seven full innings like he did, I know he got a no decision in his last start, but it was a real solid performance. If he continues to pitch like that, the wins are going to start coming. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh Batting cleanup four. batter, Theo the Jameson. Fielder. He went deep Theo. in the contest last night. Jameson. He's set and the pitch. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. And, guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come off another loss last time out, and, in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dero, is strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you could throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Into the box, Hunter Dozier. Batting Jameson, the runner the at first, first with one gone in the Hunter. inning. Dozier. He loses nope. him on ball four. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk, that and there's good. no doubt that he's Not fighting himself stop. right now. Number See if he can 14. get this train back on the rails here. So striding in, Bo Bichette. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Now a moment here at PNC to take a look at the Pirates' lineup card in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, you better be careful when dealing with that five-hole hitter. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Digging in, number 13. And the Pirates trying to make this first, first inning even more productive number here. 13. High fly ball come out on, to straightaway on, center. Pilar's there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. So here's the Reds pitcher, Trevor Bauer. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Bauer. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Jamison moving in. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Riding in once again, Theo Jamison. He reached on a the single in his first try. Theo. One of the keys to securing a win, Jameson. they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss.
The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Now another one two. Popped up. Votto has a play. One down. In now for the Reds, Tucker Barnhart. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Lifted the other way out to left center. Jamison is in pursuit, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in relay, scoring relay, position relay, relay. to start the inning. Relay three, three. The relay, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Striding in, Theo Jamison, a hit in two tries so far. Here it comes. Jamison. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything out. 0-2. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So digging in now, Jesse Winker. 0 for 3 to this point. He had not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jamison is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. But the time run comes across here, so it looks like this could be a wire job. Stretch time coming up here in Pittsburgh, and we are all tied at three apiece. Now at the plate, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce back fielder. after striking Theo. out his last time up. Yeah, Jameson. and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way well, to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One ball, no strikes to count. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Count still at one and two. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Fouled away. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And they have taken the lead. Solo shot to right center as they take the lead 4-3. to three. certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you and this guy right now is swinging the bat so well I'm not giving him a chance to do anything he's too hot right now
man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Well, he just made himself a really tough out here. Picked up three hits. Two of them were doubles, so he was a real factor every time he stepped to the plate. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. Pittsburgh crossed the plate three times in the eighth, helping propel them to the win. Keone Kella earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the show. From one of the best ballparks you'll find and in the now, sport, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Today, Pittsburgh we'll see a contest Pirates. from the National League Central between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Mitch Keller starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can... Stepping into the box, number 17. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. Here's the 0-2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Frazier is after it. But he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. Really unfortunate there. Obviously the runner at second base. Ready now. Theo Jamison. It was a two-head effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four, you're just trying to salvage. Do the fundamental things right. Try and sneak out a couple wins, get on the plane, and get out of here. One and two now. One and two. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Gregory Polanco. The right fielder, Gregory Polanco. The 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Time for a look at the Cincinnati Reds on D. And let's take a look at third baseman Eugenio Suarez, one of the more underrated players that in our sick. sport. Big time power baseman. from the right side. Ability to crush a hanging breaking ball. Also, soft hands at the hot corner. Very reactionary down there and a strong arm. The 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. At the plate, Bo Bichette. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Try to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh. They're down by a touchdown, 7 0. Ready for another chance? Now Theo Jamison. Jamison. He looked to bounce back Theo. after striking out his Jamison. last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Here's Gregory Polanco. He was a strikeout yeah, victim in his first try. The right fielder, Gregory Polanco. The 2-2. Two -two. 
smoked on the come ground on, left on. side. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Man, I thought this at-bat was over. Down 0-2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2-2. And he's able to find the knock out there. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Dozier. He's set. Here's the 3-0. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Now with the plate, Bo Bichette. Number 14. And this is on the ground at first. Could be two. To second for one. Relay to Votto's in time at first. And it's a double play. Side retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. More ahead from the North Shore right after this. At the plate, Theo Jamison. Now batting, center fielder, Theo. First pitch coming. Jameson. Here it is. Sends that one out of play for strike one. No runs, three hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. And it's fouled away. The one two misses for the second ball. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Luis Castillo. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Castillo. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Jamison ranging forward. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Now at the plate, Theo Jamison. And their runners at the corners now. Here comes the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. No runs, four hits, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. A ball and a strike. Garrett is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him. And hey, that's part of the game. Digging in to try it again. Now Gregory Polanco looking to cut Gregory. into that big deficit they've got in front of them. Polanco. High in the air big, big, out to big. center field. On the move is Pilar. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Pirates leave them loaded. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. 11-0, the final shutout total in this one. The Cincinnati Reds came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Luis Castillo earns his eighth victory of the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Mitch Keller couldn't get out of the first in this one as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the Show Nation. Thank you.